Hello everyone. Today we are here for fulfilling a prerequisite for the training session on open broadcaster software which is OBS and OpenShot. I am your instructor from group 8, Sachin Rajkopalan, assistant professor from Department of Microbiology, Ram Narayan Ruya Autonomous College, Mumbai. Let me tell you how to download and install OBS software in your system. Please note that these softwares are meant for computers. They may not work effectively on your mobile phone. So for optimum utilization, I would request you to follow the guidelines on your desktop or your laptop. Let us now begin with the download and installation of OBS. To begin with, we have to first understand how to download OBS, which is Open Broadcaster Software. I would request you all to get into your browser and type OBS. As you type OBS, the very first hit that you can see on your screen is Open Broadcaster Software. So please click on that. As you click on it, you will see the home page of OBS and you can see that the very beginning statement that is there on the home screen is the version. The recent version is 25.0.8 which was released on 26th of April. It's a free and open source software for video recording as well as for live streaming. We will discuss this in our sessions that are scheduled later. Now you can see that there are three options, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So according to your system configuration, I would recommend you to click on Windows, please remember that this software is supported on Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. If you have a Mac OS 10.13 plus system, you can then click on this tab. Or if you are on Linux system, you can also go for the Linux tab. As I'm operating from a Windows system, I would click on Windows. The moment I click on Windows, there is going to be an automatic downloading that begins for the OBS software. It is around 70.1 MB. It is going to take some time for it to download. Until then, you can see some basic overview guideline that has been given on the OBS Studio website. Once the download is complete, you can click on the OBS software that is downloaded. And as you click on it, it will ask you whether you want system changes. And those system changes can be then approved. So you can see that it shows me this window. I'm going to click on next. Again, I'll click on next. I can obviously choose the location where I want to save the program. And finally, I will click on install. It would take some time for the files to be extracted and the installation process will then be completed. Now you can click on finish and then OBS Studio will open in your screen. 
So this is how the screen would look like. Please understand that it is going to ask you for some settings. There and now it is asking me, would you want to manually configure your settings? So I'm going to click auto run configuration so that all configuration is set on its own and I don't have to configure it. And secondly, it's going to ask me whether do I want to optimize my OBS studio for live streaming or just for recording. Please understand that the basic motto that we all have here is to record our e-content. So I'm going to optimize it for recording and not for live streaming. I'll click on next. Again, I will keep it as it is. That is 60 or 30. And I'll click on next. And I will apply the settings finally. Once the settings are applied, your OBS Studio is now ready to use. Please follow these instructions and install OBS Studio in your machine so that in our next session when we start with the training of OBS, you could also practice it simultaneously. Thank you. Have a good day.